me and Carol uh, representing Indonesian local snacks. Yeah, what do you call that? Um, I'm kue talam and you are what? Lapis something. <laughs> ube. It's like, yeah, I know, I got some taro, ube, ube color here, ube some green, I love that, yeah. <laughs> All right, so speaking about food, uh, yeah, well, I know that you're busy, but you are managing your time very well with your family, especially right. the weekend. Yes, uh, weekend is my cheat day. If you want to ask yeah, that, yes, yes. You're a weekend is my cheat day, yes. Do you have any plans for weekend? Do you have any? Like, yeah, I think I really want to. I mean, we're busy really Ramadan. Exactly. I'm thinking what I want to get, especially if we're talking about Ramadan, mm -hmm. is break fasting, right? Yeah. So you want something that's sweet, mm -hmm. something that's, you know, uh, whatever that you like, savory or sweet. But for me, my taste, I like my sweets. For yeah, me too. I love a sweet. I love uh, basically I love food. I know. Before, yes. Before Ramadan, I I don't know. I, I'm thinking about taking my family out. Mm -hmm. uh, probably, you know, to eat some in a, one of a, oh, eating it at a restaurant okay. to get a sweet as okay. well. Okay. Huh. All right. So All right. What are you thinking of? Um, I'm thinking Cakes, I'm donuts, going anything or... okay. sweets, cake, donuts, fast stream. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Why don't we just go to Jakarta Dessert, Mo uh, dessert Week? Exactly, yes. why not? So, um, what kind of dessert uh, they have? Cakes, chocolates, everything that probably we can find there. And to find the answer straight from Jakarta Dessert Week, co-founder and uh, mm -hmm. also Boo Bakery CEO, we have Talita Stiadi in our studio. Welcome, Talita. Thank you so much Thank for, coming. for having me. I'm a big fan of your chakwe sourdough. <laughs> Oh, you have to try it. I have. I cannot yet, but I will. Oh, yeah. yes. I forgot. You Where did you get the chakwe? To bo. You go to bo oh, and okay. you order the chakwe no, sourdough. I always, Garlic parmesan. Yeah, you know, I always go to. I always go there for the sourdough bread. By the way, oh my usually god. after our, you know, done here. Dipping with the sauce. You go there. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> She's very ecstatic to see you. By the way. Yes. Right, before we go uh, to the chakwe and sourdough thing, yeah, such let's a talk lady. about Jakarta Dessert Week. Yeah, what is so sure. special about that? So Jakarta Dessert Week is an initiative that me and my co-founder started back in 2019, mm. just like right in time before the pandemic, Ugh. actually. And it was just in time for what happened in the pandemic because we had a platform now to co-market, collaborate, mm -hmm. and also help each other to pivot, whether it be digitization, going online, and also how to like, you know, market our products and create innovative products right. while during the pandemic. Yeah. Oh, wow. So well, during the pandemic, you're still ongoing with Jakarta Dessert Week. Exactly. Really? This year, 2023, will be our fifth year. Yeah. Ah, oh, really? nice. Oh, how did you manage during the so, pandemic? So we had a lot of support, actually. So during the pandemic, um, we got some support from Tokopedia. So oh, we were able to partner with online. them. Actually, prior to the pandemic, not a lot of pastry shops yeah. had a Tokopedia store right. or had an online yeah, kind of okay. presence, right? Oh. So it, that's why we were saying, oh, it was just the right time that we launched this before the pandemic. Oh, yeah, because people would not think about food, yeah. I think, and that, you know, uh, marketplace. Mm -hmm. But then now, because of you, now you become, you know, you will kind of help also uh, all these space places and whatnot. Uh, we're going to talk about Jakarta Desert Week. Yeah. This year is, what is it called? So this year we came up with a different concept yes. because last year, at the end of last year, we collaborated with Bright Spot Market as well. Yes. We had a pop up at That's Bright Spot. Right. Yeah. Usually yeah. it's with Bright Spot Market. Right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Right. So we had a pop up there, and mm -hmm. we worked together with the um, founders of Bright Spot. And then we saw that there was so much enthusiasm mm -hmm. that we couldn't wait one whole year right. until Jakarta Dessert Week happens again, yeah. right? Yes. Usually in quarter four. Mm -hmm. So then we collaborated again with Ashta District mm -hmm. Eight so that um, we could still showcase a lot of these wonderful talents mm -hmm. before our main event in October. So it's called Dessert Market and right. our pop-up is at level two by Flix. All right, All and right. the theme this year is Dessert Market. This is yeah, just one of the satellite just events. Just one of the satellite yeah. events. Oh, so there basically the big event will be held in November this year. So the big event doesn't have a physical location, oh, but it's okay. kind of like a restaurant week oh, concept. So we go like restaurant, restaurant hopping. hopping. Oh, that's nice. Exactly. How's the program though usually? Let's say, let's say if you go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. would there be a special menu of Jakarta Dessert Week mm -hmm. that you can choose? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the whole idea behind Jakarta Dessert Week is we encourage collaboration, cross-marketing, mm -hmm. and also innovation and creativity. Therefore, we come up with a theme every year to right. help to um, the pastry chefs, the participating shops to really think about and reflect on different themes that they create the desserts on. Right. Um, right. So last year, you know, we, we've had 
several themes in the past, like retro, magic. Oh. So this year is a secret theme oh. that I'm not allowed okay. to You're talk about. You're not going to spill yet. the tea today. Oh not yet, but there will be another theme that everyone can like start to think about how okay. to interpret. Okay, in so uh, mm -hmm. this must be a very uh, interesting for everyone, especially for the uh, people in the industry, in the oh, yeah. event industry. Very and uh, it's like a stimulating mm -hmm. them exactly. to be more creative yeah, because, the you know, we, yeah. yes. we even love food, especially yeah. here. <laughs> In Jakarta, there's a in the lot, city, lot of right? restaurants, yes. and every everything. Yes. If one uh, restaurant have something special, everybody will coming yeah. just to try it, post it on social media. Yes. So basically, people are more creative to do something uh, yeah. better and better. Exactly. So how do you uh, like? How do you work on uh, with those uh, producer or the vendors? And did you like uh, creating, or is there any standards that you are put it? To yes. join yeah first event. of all um, we wanted to highlight not only the vendors but mm. also the upstream to downstream okay Masa, who's the agriculturist right. like where did the products come from who is the suppliers who's the distributors mm. who are the brands of these ingredients who are the chefs who are making oh, this okay. and where are their retail sales points do you got we want to highlight all the way down the okay. chain. Okay. Yeah, yeah yeah that's why it's really important that you know we have this every year to like get some more excitement into that. it's for the full ecosystem I think right exactly. it's all around ecosystem oh, exactly. right there right. now I mean we were talking about you know you were talking about the industry FNBs and whatnot we're gonna talk about now the people that's gonna oh, enjoy the delicacies yes. right how are the public's response especially to Jakarta Desert Week when you started in 2019 until now so the public's response has been really really amazing because I did have a lot of questions on like and you know to my co-founders like why do you only highlight pastry why do you only highlight desserts mm -hmm. and then I asked them okay name me three pastry chefs and they would struggle mm -hmm. yeah. but when I asked them to name you no know, three even ten culinary chefs very right. easy you know right. we see all these people everywhere yes. so then yeah that, that's why it's you know we thought it's, it's really really cool to start to do this and then also the public start to see that hey Pastry is a viable career option. Yes. It's such a cool thing to yeah. study. Right. And so then we not only generate a lot of excitement on the business side, but also on the education side and the mm -hmm. restaurant hopping side and the, in the entertainment side. Like you mentioned that you love to eat yeah. for entertainment, right? Yeah. And like searching new places and yeah. things. So then by doing all this, actually, we're just generating more excitement, more hype and showcasing all the talents behind it, which is so important these days. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, and uh, Talza, how do you see Indonesian uh, chef uh, pastry yeah. in, the, in the big industry in the world? Especially, you know, mm. we have a lot of uh, Indonesian snacks. Yes, it's yes, yes. very yes. popular. And our government right. want to, you know, yes. escalate it to be, you know, showing off in uh, inter international mm -hmm. world. How do you see it? Yeah, so the cool thing about desserts and the cool thing about pastry, it's a type of creative art, right? right. And when the producers create something, they tap into their experiences, their cultural background, what they ate when they were younger, yeah. what their mom cooked. Mm. So then it's really important that we highlight Indonesian pastry chefs if you want to highlight more of our culture, mm -hmm. more of our heritage. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's why in the big grand scheme of things, how come we don't know like a globalized like Indonesian pastry chef showing off a lot of our ingredients? Mm -hmm. and flavors so mm -hmm. it's it's really really exciting and that's why we get support from um, Kemen Parekraf, uh -huh. you know and also the DKI government so that we can put on these events every year and they also encourage us to hey why not do it in Bandung why not do it in yeah. Bali why not do it in Medan actually we we will do it in Medan wow. this year yeah and also like hey can you put more you know local ingredients work with more farmers and that's yeah. all of these things we never realized how big this could be yeah. and how much impact it could have. Yeah. You know, Talita, I've, I've actually tasted one cake right here. Um, the store is right here in the South Jakarta. So it's a cake, it's yeah. a very fluffy cake, but it tastes like astampur. Ah. Uh, you know, it's, the, it's that um, yeah. ice dish, it's an like ice dessert that is very yeah, 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 yeah. And And the first time that I saw it, I'm like, Mm, you know, because this is very different. But when I taste it, I'm like, oh my gosh, the combination, right? So I thought, like, yes, like you were just saying right now, how we can introduce Indonesian cuisine, mm -hmm. but maybe in a modern kind of twist, exactly. and you can do it, you know? And it seems that now that you really want to kind of boost the industry, especially the micro small businesses mm -hmm. in pastries, how do you think seeing the road uh, for that path to kind of boost their confidence and also boosting the industry itself? 
Yeah, so then events and collaborations like this help to bring in excitement and also spotlight, like what you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So I hope that, and we all hope, our co-founders really hope that by cross-marketing and highlighting, you know, we uplift one another because yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what we didn't really um, vibe with prior to having Jakarta Dessert Week that when I came back to Indonesia and started my own business, um, we became more and more siloed from yeah, one another. True. And then I do hear okay. from like even big players asking me like, hey, how come I feel like this industry is so competitive? Yeah. yeah. Like, why is it so competitive? How come we don't do a lot of collaborations? And then by actually wow. putting intention in this one week or two weeks on one month to like, hey, that brand of chocolate work with this brand of pastry shop. Right. Oh my God. That's, you know, yeah. create Very a kind. menu together. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, why don't you bring that chef from Bali and why don't yeah. you do pop up here? True. You know, these kind of things. So, yeah, from there we realized, oh, turns out that's the secret to success yeah. is pulling each other, holding hands together, yeah. and walking forward together. Whoa, that's yeah, very if, strong. Yeah, yeah. If, if not, then actually it becomes a very lonely place. Of yeah. course, very of course. Empowering. So we don't, we can get more experience, right? <laughs> yeah. So if yeah. you are collaborating each other from Bali, Medan, or even yes. in Maluku, why not? Probably we can have yeah. a best dessert yes. in the world. The sharing of ideas. Very that, talented That staff. is the secret behind creativity and innovation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you create new products if you don't open your horizons, exactly. open your network, right. go out of your comfort zone, go out of Jakarta. True, oh. true. I love the way that you talk because you're very passionate oh, about this. It's really engaging. Oh my God. How many heart. friends in, involved in this uh, uh, project? So this last year. year we had over a hundred. Wow. And it grew so much from when we first started, it was only 16, get just our wow. friends, like, hey, why don't you join this thing? Wow. And then now we have over 100, and we've had support from the local government and the local Ministry of um, Tourism and Economy Creative mm -mm. for the past three years also. Wow. We've been getting funding to wow. help to, you know, like what you said, yeah. boost the sector more wow. and more. Yeah. And they see the potential of the sector to engage more tourism mm -mm. as well to, mm -mm. The, to our nation, because whoever thought Jakarta as a culinary destination mm -hmm. prior to you know what we're doing recently as a dessert destination yeah. even yeah. it's know? like a melting yeah. pot as well yeah. yeah so people want from in Jakarta needs to have oleh oleh of course like, oleh -ole. yeah, yeah. Oleh -ole, right? yeah, 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 yeah that's, yeah, that's our culture very right here like chef dessert yeah. especially Ooh, so Talida I just want to ask you a very yeah. personal question okay. it seems that you're very passionate <laughs> about this uh, it seems oh. that until that you're a bit teary. Is there a, a story behind that? Uh, well, well, yeah. Like me myself, I'm a business practitioner. Mm -hmm. I started my own business, and like what I mentioned, like, that that loneliness, that separation is real. Okay. And it's what and did I want to. Well, there's a lot of ups and downs, mm -hmm. of, course. of course, and especially with the pandemic, it's like it, it can weigh quite heavily. Especially, um, a lot of people start their businesses from the home, so learning from scratch, going from zero, and yeah. really try this out on their own. And sometimes yeah. they don't know who to ask, they don't mm -hmm. know who to look up to, and they know who to, they don't know who to talk to. But having this community and being a you know a platform for young chefs to even think. Hey, it, when I want to launch my brand next year, I can talk to Jakarta Dessert Week. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can launch. We, they can be our launch pad, yeah. which happened with Chef Karan from KB. Yeah, KB. Yeah, he, he just moved here. back to Indonesia from Las Vegas, learning from the best chefs mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. and not having, not knowing anyone mm -hmm. in the industry. And me myself, even though I had a lot of hardships, I was so blessed with just meeting the right people, like right. meeting Trianura Agustina, who is our co-founder, who is the food editor of um, Femina magazine. Oh, okay. You know, meeting Primo Rizky and Gupta Sitorus, who are like amazing PR and communicators. They also helped me earlier in my career. Right. And meeting people like Kevin Drasomantri, who is oh. also a co-founder, who is a food journalist, who wrote about me. Yeah. And who wrote about he's my... He's here as well. Yeah, he's a co-founder too. So yeah. there's five oh, of us. Okay. So when I knew these people and then realized looking back, oh, these people helped to shape me to where I am today. Yeah. But what about the newcomers, especially now that the industry is starting to really come out, really yes. explode? Right. Um, some kids, the Gen Zs are coming yeah. up, like yeah. who's supporting them? 
So it's actually coming from, yes, like what you mentioned, is a lot of hardship and a lot of pain, but also like a lot of gratitude yes. as well. Oh. And a lot of things that we can share. Oh my God, yeah. it's yeah. like a regeneration process. And yeah. I think it's really, yeah. <laughs> because it, well, it, it, well, it can't stop at you. It have to be, we exactly. need more Talita in the future, yeah. Yeah. right? And I see that you're very passionate and yeah. also very dedicated to yes. this. We can really oh, feel really? your energy and also yeah. feel your love. Yeah. And this is what it's all about. Wow. It seems the Jakarta Dessert Week is not only wanting people to come and of course to enjoy the yeah. delicacies that you have, <laughs> but it also become a networking space and oh, the totally. collaboration space. Yes. It becomes like an exhibition mm -hmm. between Pegasus <laughs> chefs and the industry itself for you yeah. to collaborate and then to grow together. Yeah. And that kind of mission is just not only noble, but I think of course definitely this is, could be to you know upgrade and upscale the of industry course. itself because sometimes I felt like maybe if people in the capital city maybe mm. they are blessed that you can go abroad and whatnot but we're yeah, like looking right. at now yeah. you know the kids that in rural areas they have the talents mm -mm. and they felt like this is what I want to do they look up to you but they yeah. think where yeah. should I go yes. where's the medium where's the network that I can go yeah. and you're making that as possible you know that you're making their dreams come true and whatnot as long as they're driven you know, to go and, you know, follow your footsteps and follow the journey itself. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a great. place full of love, basically. And that's yeah. what, that's what the, desserts are. Desserts, right. yeah. <laughs> desserts <laughs> always make you happy, people. <laughs> I'm telling you. The love is coming from Sonic, not yeah. always from the yeah. size, so, right? Talita, thank you so much for sharing thank with us so with your, no, your, your desserts. Oh. Could you share with us what you have? So yeah. this is a sneak preview yes. to our dessert market pop-up uh, pasta, which you don't patient. have that much more time because it's only around until the 26th of March. Okay, okay. all right. right. And this is just a selection, just a mm. taster for what's to come over okay. there. Okay. Yeah, so we have Enchante Bakery mm -hmm. by Chef Jonathan Weedy, whose Ooh. shop is at Ashta as well. Okay. His specialty is Eclat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Enchante. Enchante. And also, this is one of the most popular brands, okay. especially um, at Bright Spot, is okay. Bodas Dessert Bar. All the way from Bandung, wow. bakes everything in Bandung, sends everything to Jakarta, fresh every morning, and wow. this is their bestseller, with it, which is their cashew nougat nougat. I know, I was eyeing that, that one. That. <laughs> you did that? that one. Yes. Oh my gosh, okay. Amazing. So yummy. So and yummy. then, of course, this is Furuto Sando, yeah. which is so cute. They have a little store in Cengkareng, and they're super popular, and you know, it's... Oh, so delicious and looks super cute. Ah. It's like cream and fruit and, and, and delicious fluffy white bread. Yes. Yeah, and then also we have Monokuro, which is another pastry shop um, okay. in Gading Serpong, okay. whose specialty is entremets. Oh. Oh, so, right. you know, this yes. is just a sneak. This is four out of a hundred. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. All right. That we had last. Like 0.001% <laughs> <laughs> you guys is right here. Can you imagine? <laughs> they made it from scratch yeah. with love, creativity, and lots of dedication. Yes. So basically, Indeed. this old uh, delicacies needs a support. Yes. 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 Support yes, yes, from yes. Uh, food lovers, from us Indonesians, to bring uh, our Indonesian dessert to you know Grow to and bloom. growing um, bloom. Yes. <laughs> We've known internationally because we have a worldwide talent. Yes. And this is dessert made by love. So exactly. Talita, uh, maybe our last question for yeah. our day. I wish that we have more time with you. I would love engaging <laughs> with you. But to know more about Jakarta Dessert Week and the upcoming events, yes. especially the main event, where can we go? Yeah, you can find us on Instagram mm -hmm. at Jakarta Dessert Week. Mm -hmm. And you can even find me too at Talitas Tiadi yes. and any of our partners, Tiranur Agustina, um, Kevin Dasomandri, who is a food writer, yeah. Primo, and Gupta, who are PR you know, specialists, and they will, you know, we basically update all the time all right. on all our right. platforms. Definitely. Thank you so much, Talita. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thanks again for uh, having me. For Thank you for you and your co founders. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you're making, you know, dreams come true right now, yeah. especially for love. Indonesian sheep. <laughs> Yeah, eight, 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 eight